car is one of the things that you can hardly survive without today. Apart from safe driving, they require proper maintenance. Every driver needs to learn how to take care of their car and make sure it's safe, running smoothly and in good condition. Even though owning a car may seem like a breeze, there are several fatal mistakes that you should avoid making at all costs. From lazy driving maneuvers, destructive car modifications, and even poor driving skills, there are countless ways that you could unintentionally destroy your car. So here are four dumb things that you should never do to your car. Never jumpstart your car backwards. Almost all drivers know that a car with a dead battery can be started by jumping it from a car with a charged battery. Car batteries are designed to produce the high electrical current required to start the engine. This routine procedure can become dangerous if the jumper cables are connected improperly, or if the positive terminal on each battery is mistakenly connected to the negative terminal on the other battery. If you look at any car battery, you'll see that one side has a plus, and the other side has a minus on it. And of course, the plus is the positive cable, and the minus is the negative cable. It seems simple enough but if you hook them up backwards, you're going to have some serious electrical problems. Connecting the positive terminal of each battery to the negative terminal of the other battery will result in a huge surge of electrical current between the two batteries. This will cause the batteries to heat up very quickly. This intense heat can melt the internal and external battery parts, cracking the battery casing. Once the casing is cracked, the battery can potentially ignite and explode. Anyone standing near the battery when it explodes can be seriously injured. Battery explosions can cause burns, permanent disfiguration, blindness, and of course, electrocution. Not only can jump-starting your car backwards hurt you, but it could also have disastrous consequences for your car as well. When the jumper cables are incorrectly connected, the polarity of the electrical system on your vehicle with the dead battery could be reversed for a few seconds. This can irreparably damage many of the sensitive electronic components that are common in today's vehicles, such as onboard computers, electric sensors, and the car's alternator. So never jump-start a car backwards. Always put the positive on the positive, and the negative on the negative. It only takes a few seconds to check. Always avoid keeping the gas tank on low. Plenty of us are guilty of driving our cars with the gas tank on low, even though we know it shouldn't be done. Sometimes there's simply no gas stations around, or sometimes you could just be low on cash. But driving low on fuel can cost you much more in the long run, particularly if you have an automatic transmission. The biggest problem is the car's fuel pump, which sends gas from the tank to the engine. It's a crucial component in getting your car running, but it has a tendency to fail and leave you stuck on the highway when you run your car low on gas. Having the proper amount of gas keeps the fuel pump's electric motor at a state and low temperature. The gas in your car acts like a coolant for the fuel pump's motor. So when you run very low, this allows the fuel pump's motor to suck in hot air, causing the fuel pump to wear prematurely and ultimately fail. In addition to overheating and wearing out the fuel pump, running an older car low on fuel tends to pull up sediment from the bottom of the gas tank. This sediment can clog up the fuel pump's filter. Once this happens, your car's engine is starved of adequate fuel, resulting in complete engine failure and potential damage to your transmission, leaving you both stranded and with an expensive repair bill. Not changing your engine oil. Your car's engine oil is the lifeblood of your vehicle. It lubricates and protects all of those meticulously engineered moving parts in your car's engine. Having your engine oil changed at regular intervals is one of the most economical ways to get reliability and peak performance out of your vehicle. And bad things can happen if your oil isn't changed, costing you time and money. For starters, not changing your car's engine oil can void its warranty. One of the best perks of having a new car is the peace of mind that comes with a warranty. However, failing to have your car serviced according to the factory specifications could render the warranty null and void. Not changing your car's oil also results in poor engine performance. Along with lubrication, oil also keeps your car's engine clean. Detergents and other additives transport dirt and debris into the fuel filter, which is replaced during an oil change. Once your fuel filter becomes clogged, all this grime is to circulate back through the engine. Smooth, clean oil gradually becomes dirty sludge. Your engine's moving parts have to fight through this muck, forcing it to work harder. As a result, your car might have less punch and torque. And the harder your engine has to work, the more gas it will guzzle as well. That means you could be stopping at the pump more often to fork over your hard-earned money. But the worst and most common outcome of not changing your car's oil is complete engine failure. Go long enough without an oil change and it could eventually cost you your car. The milky white exhaust of a blown head gasket will force you directly to the side of the road. A blown engine usually has to be replaced 99% of the time, and it's not that hard to imagine how much that costs. Failing to change your car's coolant. Coolant wears out over time and should be changed out. It's a simple thing to do. 
old worn out coolant won't protect against temperature extremes, as well as the fresh stuff will. Also, if you never flushed out your vehicle's cooling system, it could be full of gunk and corrosion, which can plug tiny openings in the radiator or block the thermostat, resulting in overheating. If you have conventional antifreeze, you should change it every three years. And if you use extended life antifreeze, you could change it out once every five years. It's not really a big deal, but don't forget to do it, because modern engines have a lot of aluminum parts, and aluminum doesn't rust, but it corrodes very badly if the anti-corrosion parts of the antifreeze break down. Riding the clutch there are two common ways that clutches die in manual transmission cars. The most common is that the clutch disc wears out. That happens over time, due to natural slippage that takes place when you engage the clutch to get the car moving. Eventually, the friction just wears out the disc, and the clutch starts to slip, requiring you to replace it. The second most common cause of your clutch failing comes from riding the clutch. If you don't know what riding the clutch is, let me explain. When you drive a manual transmission car, you need to press the clutch in before changing gears. When you're in the slow lane and you're moving at a snail's pace. Sometimes drivers ride the clutch or press it in halfway, making the car move very slowly, keeping with traffic. Although this is practical, it's also very hard on your clutch. It can have disastrous consequences. Riding the clutch will often immensely shorten its life, and it's a dangerous habit to have. The telltale sign that you're causing harm to the clutch is a distinctive burning smell coming from the clutch blades as they slip on the gearbox shaft. If you do notice this smell, adjust your footing accordingly. Well guys, those are dumb things that you should never do to your car. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like what you see at the channel, subscribe and put post notifications on. You can also follow the channel on Instagram at ModernMuscleYT. I'm Jeff from Modern Muscle, and I'll see ya next time.